Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, episode two in our series on the metabolic switch. We're going to talk about calorie restriction. This goes back to my, my early days of teaching metabolic positioning. And, and I, I have told clients the same thing for three decades, which is when you start this calorie deficit and you've got consistency built into your plan, you got a certain amount of, of calories and, and the macronutrient profile that you're aiming for, you're going to go through a process of slow depletion. You're going to start gradually depleting your liver glycogen. Muscle glycogen is going to be used through training and not replenished as, as much. And so you're going to hit a point of, of where you feel this depletion. And as we talked about in the first episode, it's going to, it can feel harsh, you know, maybe because it's more gradual, you won't. Some clients, because a lot of times doing nutrition consulting with a coach or a competitor getting into pre-contest, all of a sudden food is way more structured and, and maybe even better quality, you know, food sources. So, so some people don't feel it at all. Other people feel what you described in episode one, Adam, maybe in the third or the fourth day. And it's the same process, but we just got there gradually. So the calorie restriction model of doing this, you know, over time is just normal dieting. But what you have to know about that metabolic switch is once you're there, it's almost like you started with a full tank of gas and then you ran out. Now that your body is starting to use body fat as an as, uh, energy, energy source, converting fatty acids to, to glycerin and, and uh, ketone bodies, every meal is putting just enough in to get you through that next meal and then you're coming back to empty. You're, you're always on that side of the metabolic switch where you're burning body fat at the most efficient pace. If you're constantly binging or you're, you're overeating, you've got ca calorie days that are too high, you go all the way back to that starting point, and now you have to spend the next three or so, four days depleting. It's so inefficient. You Even with the same amount of calories per week, you will lose far slower You'll go through that pain over and over and over. So if you choose just normal calorie restriction, respect that metabolic switch that once you're there, you want to stay there and then control your, your meal planning uh, with that in mind. Yeah, that's a really great representation of how to explain this. And even recently, I had a client who had two high of refeeds. So we were seeing that tank get full. I'm like, well, we're losing four days of progress for them to come off of that refeed. So we had to dial those back and that worked way better. We saw that she was back to losing body fat in about two days. We went from, I want to say she was like 90 carbs and 20 fats for a refeed. And we pulled it back to, I think we did like 60, 10. I can't remember the exact numbers, but that was enough to help her you know, not fill. And I should mention she was doing two refeeds in a row. So that was like Saturday, Sunday. So um, now double that. But yeah, that made a huge difference for her on actually being able to make four days of progress throughout the week versus like two or three at best. This, this is where you have to use that phrase, uh, you know, biology is not linear. And so sometimes you're so close that you make one little change, one little calorie reduction, shift one meal, ex expand a meal cycle, you know, time between meals, something like that. And all of a sudden you start losing so fast and you think that, that what was that much of a change? Like, like, why would that little tiny change make a difference? But you could have been so close to that metabolic switch that finally you, you cross that line and, and biology, if nothing else, is a very threshold based, uh, you know, series of processes. And so, you know, once you hit that threshold, everything happens. It's, it's like, you know, muscle contraction. You can, you know, you, you just, there's a threshold response between the, the synapses. So um, perfect. And, and I'm sure you, you've seen that with other clients too, Adam, where, where you just make these small corrections or changes and, and some, some better things happen almost instantly. Yeah, it just really comes down to calorie modulation. Like I shouldn't throw carbs under the bus. There's been people I just pull their protein down during their refeeds and maybe keep carbs the same. And that's just enough calorie restriction to keep them from, you know, not making progress throughout the week. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So now you know what the metabolic switch is. You know how you can get there through normal dieting and calorie restriction. The next three episodes, we're going to talk about different forms of fasting. And, and not that we're going to recommend you do these, 
but they can be tools if you understand how to use them well. So we'll see you in episode three.